Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here and welcome to a Legend Dennis Bergkamp review. This quick player review will hopefully give you guys a good idea of whether or not Dennis Bergkamp is worth the coins you'll pay from both the perspective of myself and Footwiz Dan. So then, Bergkamp is of course a Dutch legend who is 90 overall rated. He boasts 83 pace, 87 dribbling, 90 shooting and 83 passing. He's a default centre forward card who is 6 foot tall with medium low work rates and 4 star skills and weak foot. Now, it's worth mentioning right here that I played Bergkamp as an out and out striker whereas Footwiz Dan played him at Cam as a playmaker. Now the first squad I've chosen to show you today is pretty much a full Dutch squad that you could slot Bergkamp straight into as a striker and we've got legend Donovan filling in at Cam although he's not Dutch he fits into the squad because every legend links to everyone. Now the second squad is more of a beastly one that I use Dennis in and it's pretty awesome. 3-5-2 squad with all sorts of legends dotted around the place we've got Suarez and Bergkamp as a strike for that's one to be reckoned with. If you're watching this on footwiz.com, then of course the in-game stats are nice and easy for you guys to see. However, if you're watching on YouTube, the top link in the description will of course link to Dennis Bergkamp's page on Footwiz where you can see his in-game stats. Now my favourite three stats for Dennis Bergkamp are definitely his 93 attacking positioning, his 92 finishing and his 89 ball control. These in-game stats lead me perfectly on to the pros and cons for this player. His first touch is absolutely awesome. The first First two pros are kind of the same thing, first touch and dribbling. He is an absolute monster on the ball. It's tough to get the ball off of him because it seems as though it's glued to his foot. He always finds himself in the right place at the right time. This comes from both myself and Footwiz Dan, so from the position of Cam and Striker. His four star skill moves are very useful. I found myself utilizing the Berber Spin a lot. It opened up a lot of space, allowing him to unleash the amazing shooting that he has. He's got finishing, he's got power and he's got volleys in his locker as well. I only have a couple of downfalls to talk about with Dennis Bergkamp. The first would be his aerial presence. He's not the sort of out and out striker that's going to be scoring you headed goals left, right and centre. He is more about the finesse and the long shots, which I actually prefer. His only other downfall I would say is his strength. Now 77 strength doesn't seem too bad on his card and I think at Cam that would probably be enough. But as an out and out striker, sometimes I found that he was pushed off the ball, which sometimes led to me not scoring opportunities. Okay, so overall thoughts on Dennis Bergkamp are extremely positive. Dan thinks Bergkamp is the perfect playmaker and he's looking for absolutely nobody to replace him in Cam. Playing him as an out and out striker probably wasn't the best move. He still did an incredible job but I think maybe Cam is a better spot for him or of course centre forward. We had loads of fun making this player review for you guys today. I hope you have enjoyed and we will catch you next time. Peace.